okay, object is moved in a vertical plane from X all the way to Y, then from Y to Z. So you start from here, you go down, go up, and end here. Start, end. Uh, the lines are vertical. So imagine this is the floor and a human is standing here. So this is like something going up and down. Uh. Object weights, weighs 20 Newton. How much GPE does the object gain by moving from X to Z? Uh, change in GPE can be calculated by mg delta H. Sometimes we say GPE, sometimes we say E, P, or sometimes we say U for potential. It's all the same thing, still potential energy. So the only thing you need to know is, at first you're at what height here, right? Then you end ready, you're at what height up there. So this is what we call the change in height. You go higher, further from the Earth. So you further from the Earth, increase in GPE. So here you can plug in the values. Mg is what? Wait, oh, this is Mg. Okay, very good. So you plug in here, 20 Newton. Change in height. 3 meters from original to up there. This one is 3. 20 times 3, 60 joules. So 60 joules is the best answer. So if you thought of 60, nice. The number one question though is like, is this. Students will often say, miss, but I thought you go down first, then only you go up. Shouldn't we include the whole path? Not for GPE. This GPE, we only care about final minus initial. So your final GPE, this GPE, is high, at a very high, high, high place. By high, we mean far from the center of the planet. And we start off down here. So here your initial GPE. This is a low GPE. So a change in GPE, you can calculate lah, just between those two points. I don't care where it go after that. Just beginning, end. Okay.